Hey there, peace. This is Kai Zadiolo. If you haven't checked out my previous video of me riding from Singapore to Phuket, do check it out in my description below. Okay, for now, I'm going to tell you guys what's my next plan. My next plan is to ride up from Singapore to northern end of Thailand. Also to meet up the Laos and the Myanmar. And they call that triangle is called the Golden Triangle. Yes. And to hit there, I'll be using the same bike. As my previous video I have jarred from Singapore to Phuket. I use the Yamaha Spark 135. It's a, it's a small capacity bike but it could do a job really well. I'm trying to head to the Golden Triangle but before heading to the Golden Triangle, I'm going to complete this famous loop called the Hong San Loop. Yes. It actually starts from Chiang Mai, then Chiang Mai to Mei Saryam, Mei Saryam to Mei Hong San, then Mei Hong San to Pai, then back to Chiang Mai. The loop itself is about 600 kilometers, and the total distance from Singapore to Golden Triangle and then also the, the loop is about 3,350 kilometers if I'm not wrong and I hope to accomplish this within 10 days and also I hope to accomplish it at the end of my probationary plate or the P plate which ends on the 30th of November 2019 which means I got to start my ride on the 20th of November 2019 so I think I, I should have ample time to, to complete this this ride up and also along the way I'll just do what I can do like enjoy also see tour around, ride around I'll see what I could do and that's why I took like 10 days to ride up I don't want to rush up because it's not fun rushing up and not enjoying the scenery or whatsoever so yeah, that's about it and also do check it out in my description below for my previous video and also do check out my, my preparation video which is up next. Spark 135 is a bike that I rode to Phuket from Singapore. It's a small capacity bike but it could do the job really well. So for for now I'm going to show you guys what are the stuff that I'm going to change and get prepared for the road trip to Northern Thailand which is the Golden Triangle and also to complete the Mei Hong San loop and I'll start from the back okay for the tires I'm not going to change the rear tire because there's still enough tread depth and but I'm going to change the rear drum brake because it's the the brake efficiency is really going down already so then from for top I'll be changing this seat because currently the seat is really becoming too soft and getting too flat already so I got to change and then the engine oil and the spark plug I'll be changing the day before so uh, then for that I'll just do it myself and yeah for the front the tire I'll just stick to it because there's still enough tread depth and I'll be changing the front uh, the brake pad so for the top dashboard I was think I'll be thinking I'll be changing this uh, this phone mount because currently uh, for the Phuket Road I find it, it very flimsy and not really steady so I'm going to change this phone mount to a better one so yeah I think that's about it and oh yes lastly I'm going to add the probably I'm going to add a what fork light at the bottom of this basket because I think I don't really want to add any crash bar or whatsoever I'll just mount it below because I already got a part but just that I no, don't have the mounting to fix it so but but now I'm just gonna get it and yeah that's about it. Yep. So see ya. Okay, right. I'll be heading to JB to change all the parts that I needed to change. So see you guys at JB. I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. Okay, boleh boleh. Okay, nak dengan dengan drum ber. Oh ya, big two, big two, big two. Bagus ni ya.
Earlier on on this video, I told you guys that I'll be adding a fog light, but then I'll be cancelling that pen and I'll be just adding a brighter headlight bulb because I don't find the point of riding during the night in Thailand because it's really kind of boring and you really can't see much. So, how about just adding a brighter headlight bulb and that's it? We'll be testing this out before using this, okay? I'll be using the 35 watt headlight bulb and I won't be using the fog light because I do not wish to light during the night because it's actually very boring. So and I just <coughs> be using this 35 watt bulb and because it actually is super bright so I'll be changing on the day of move off. Then other than that I'll just use back the normal one. Okay, it's time to change my engine oil and spark plug. This is the iridium spark plug that I'm gonna use for my bike. Okay, I'm using the same one for my bike but it's already like more than 22,000 clicks or kilometers and I'm probably going to change it now for my road trip because I I just don't want my old spark plug to give me problem while, my, while I'm riding or give problem to my engine so this for now I just change, change it changing this phone holder to a new one which actually is a eight claw or you can say eight fingers but I took out the top part and it is a full set also but it's a handlebar mount but I don't need the handlebar mount for now because actually I bought it for my future usage I say if I were to change my bike and all I need to do is just have this part and just replace it with this so I can just use this stem yep that's it Not to forget, I got to do my chain maintenance, which is up next. sharing with you guys what my rough road will be like 
as you know my previous video I've traveled via Malaysia by the west side so now I'm planning to travel via Malaysia by the east side so I hit from there I hit to the north of Thailand so so this is the rough route will be like so it starts from Singapore to Kelantan which is about 699 kilometers now I hit to Patalum which is about 359 kilometers then I will hit to Hua Hin which is about 655 kilometers then I will ride to Tak 605 kilometers bypassing Bangkok or if not I will be riding in Bangkok then I will hit to Chiang Mai 271 kilometers and also to start the famous loop called Mei Hong San loop and then the first place will be Doi Intanon which is the highest peak of Thailand I'll be riding up there then I'll head to Mei Saryang then I'll head to Mei Hong San then Pai then back to Chiang Mai so the last day or the day before I'll head to the Golden Triangle to meet Laos and Myanmar so I might be riding in Laos so I'll think about it, I'm not very sure yet, so yeah. That's it for the video. So if you like my video, do like and share and what you call that, subscribe. And yeah, that's about it and see you in Thailand. See ya.